two week notice, right? Yes. Do you see yourself not doing that and feeling confident in, but you know, I'm just gonna go no, in? No, I would much rather have a cushion in place when, uh, if or if I were to quit my current job right now, I would love to have a cushion in place for me to be able to start my next job within like a few days or weeks or so. Yeah. Because financially, that just makes sense. Yeah. However, yeah. if you really hate your job, right, and you just get so sick of the thought that you just having to get in your car or get on the bus and having just to go over there, yeah. maybe you, and this is where the quote comes in, confidently quit, maybe you should quit because if it's not going to be good for your, you know, your physical health or your mental health, or it's just not really worth your time and energy anymore, you really should just like cut ties as soon as you can. And then maybe as soon as that's done, you can confidently find another job that is a little bit more suitable for you. Right. That's exactly. what I think. Exactly. Why did you work there in the first place? True. Depend. Desperatism. I feel like, yeah. you know, for yeah, money yeah, yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. But if you know you're going into that, you got to suck it up and do your job. Right. Yeah. You suck it up and if you really can't bear it and if the people you work with cannot... I say, yeah, there's abuse, up. physical abuse, verbal abuse, abuse and you gotta stuff up. like that. But, you know, people start complaining about job shifts, right? <clears throat> if you're right. the bottom of the totem pole, I'm sorry, you're going to work the ass hours. You're going right. to have to do what you have to Pay do. Pay your dues. Pay your dues. Pay your dues. Yeah. Some of the young people, we don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Pay the dues, bruh. Don't think you can become manager the next day. No. You, know, you gotta start. I, I, I worked with a lot of millennials with their, in, in a, what, high school people consider millennials? With I their, think they're Generation X now if they're currently in high school. Oh, okay, so, no, they're millennials now because when I worked with them, oh, yeah, that yeah. was five years ago. Yes. So they're millennials. Yes. So anyway, yeah, a lot of them would to get a job and just not show up. Right. After. You know, That's I, how they quit. I don't like that. I, I feel like that I was just raised better for me to not only like prioritize my time, but also to be thoughtful of the other person's time that's taking care of me as well. Uh, yeah. Not a whole lot of people like to be thoughtful anymore. I think. Oh, like, oh you got that right. Especially when it comes into the workplace, you know. Right. Like I've been working at my current job for almost a year and a half, and I am striving for me to become manager. Nice. And it's within my reach, but you know the time and commitment is definitely what it needs, and. You're right, a lot of millennials are definitely impatient. They want to have that, you know, check right now and they want to have that title right now, right. but they're not necessarily willing to work for it. They, want everything they right don't now. know what it means to work for it until correct. it happens. That is correct, yes. We've all gone through it. It needs, it's, it's, it's a built character. Yes, exactly. That's it. All right, let's, let's fast forward here. Let, let's, um, the last two ones are kind of waste time, so let's, let's fast oh. forward. <laughs> <laughs> they're kind of, uh, no need. <laughs> So let's get to let's get to the meat of this now. How have you been? I have been really good. <laughs> I have been fantastic. And how are you? Zach? I'm great, thank you. Oh yes, thank of you, How are you, you, Zach? Day by day. Day, day by day. Oh, nice. Well, same yes. stuff. Different quit. day. Oh, quit life. life. Oh yeah. Hopefully we're not quitting life anytime soon. So you haven't been on in a while. So we, we, let, what have you been up to? Well, let's go in. I have uh, been working a lot. I have been traveling quite a bit, and um, I just turned. Twenty-four. It is my Kobe year. Kobe year. That's it. Yes. Yep. Back to Lakers again. But wait, yeah, people are like, what's that? <laughs> no, no, for people out there getting to be. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Twenty-four. Kobe Bryant's jersey. Yeah. That's it. So, what else has happened since? Well, there was something happened after your birthday. Be during birthday. my birthday. Well, oh, during. Yes, during my birthday. Okay, so let me just give you a quick little rundown as to what had happened. Um. Me and a few of my girlfriends, we decide to go to Vegas um, for EDC, oh. and that nice. was absolutely amazing. First, First all, old heads, EDC stands for Electric <laughs> Daisy <laughs> Carnival. Basically, oh, really? it's like a three-day. Well, you know that? I thought it was like Electric Dance Carnival. Oh, Daisy, same, 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 Daisy. Same, same, same. Yeah, but, but whatever. Okay. But um, one of the biggest things to actually hit the um, EDM scene is the fact that. Avicii, who is, you know what Levels is, the song, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, the one that kind of like sounds like yeah. that one flow right <laughs> you, song. You sure? <laughs> okay, okay, got it, okay, got it. Yeah, so Avicii, who is a major EDM artist, passed away right, right. due to, I want to say like, he, he yeah, did yeah. so yeah. many yeah. drugs, yeah. he did yeah. so much drugs in his It was holiday related. Yeah, and yeah. he his, his pancreas or something gave out. Oh, his oh really? Yeah. yeah. It was like an appendix or something. It was something like possibly burst. It was his pancreas. Like wow. it could like I don't know what it was, but it was something definitely along those lines. Okay. What I was reading. 
So that was one of the main reasons why I not only wanted to go to EBC, but also because um, Avicii was one of my most favorite artists, and I got to see like a whole bunch of like you know and tributes to him, huh? and that was super super fun. Um, so tributes meaning they remixed his tracks, or they. We mix his tracks a little bit to kind of give it their own personal right, flair right. to it, but also just like just to remember him and like a lot of like the good vibes that he brought. So people did oh. drugs. Yeah. For, Avi <laughs> for Avicii. Oh. Yeah. When he OD on drugs. Yes. <laughs> what if you OD while you're watching? That tribute to Avicii. You Nobody was... OD'd this year. Hey. Oh, congratulations. Yes. Yeah. All right. There's light Smart at the end. drug users. Boom. Go coming. figure that. Yes. Wonderful. No, but other than that, um, aside from EDC itself. Um, Vegas is hey. incredible. Yeah, right. oh, I love Vegas. Vegas. Love Vegas. Yes, I do. Yeah. I also love it because I got to win a little bit of money. Hey, there you go. Make that money, girl, it again. Was, it was good. It That's was right. Good. Throw up in the air. Yeah. But let me just like say this really quick. I traveled with some of my girlfriends for the very first time and this is my oh. very first trip that I've ever traveled with like my closest friends okay and I had to realize this the hard way there you, go. There you, go. you learn so much about the people you are staying with on a 10 day trip Oh yeah, so long trip. Yeah, right. Ten days in Vegas. Are you out of your head, right? That you no know, one should stay in Vegas for no more than like four days. Yeah. Four days. I just need yes. to do with three day, two nights. My day yes. one, you're tired already. Yes. No, I was exhausted. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. I was exhausted. Yeah. I actually didn't sleep for like the entire weekend. Honestly. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how many, how many girls did you go with on this? Um, including me, there were five. Whoa. Oh. Yes. You guys are no longer friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's on. Whoa, there's a pause there. I just be like, oh, okay. no, 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 no. Um, maybe somehow best friends were demoted Whoa. to friends. There you go. A demotion. Like and it. then somehow they kind of demoted themselves oh. to acquaintance. Whoa. So, you don't want to be in the gutter. That's it. Whoa, bro. Chilling with the turtles. Yep. It's coral. It's some things. Whoa. Sometimes. So other friends elevate up the scale? Yeah, yeah, actually. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Well, there were some going ups. Yeah, yeah, there were, and it was rankings. It was honestly super surprising to me because I would not thought that I would not like some of the girls, and then one of my one really good friends, I was just like, "What the heck are you doing?" Wow. Like, and she hurt my feelings a little. Oh, hey. Hey. Yeah. Don't hurt the feelings, girls. Come on. Feelings. Girls. When you have to say, "What are you doing?" while drugs and drinking is going on. <laughs> Something's going that on. That should never be said. Wait, wait, Why are you doing all the debauchery is going on? Bro. What are you doing? What bro. are you doing? She, she was sober the entire time. Oh. <laughs> oh and, well, she and was I, killed sober the girl. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Uh, but regardless or not, she is definitely a good person. I love her to death. But I just you learn so much about people when you uh, travel with them. Bad. And there you, go. you if you don't like something and you say something to the person that is like providing the hotel room and stuff like that, let me just tell you, you are going to be stirring up the pot for some drama. Because at one point, I really wanted to go and get my own hotel room because Whoa. the ridiculousness that I was dealing with was unreal. Right. And it, it was just... Was it petty or was it It was serious? super petty. Of course it's petty. It was super it's girls. petty. It's a bunch of broads in the room, five broads, what can happen? Bra, don't touch yeah. my bra. Exactly. Like... <laughs> Okay, let me give an example of a story. Oh, so, yeah, stories. Here we go. One of my girlfriends, she really wanted us to go to the club with her one night. And I told her in the beginning of the day, yeah, sure, I'm totally down. Yeah, yeah. you know, we're all Vegas. totally down, you know? Yeah. That same day, we go to a pool party, we get super hammered. Okay, yeah, We right. come back yeah. to the hotel room, uh, so and we're do. sleeping until like 8.30. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was hungover. I was drunk. I was tired. And so when we all finally wake up, she's like, oh no, we have to go to the club. We have to go to the club right now. And then I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm way too tired. Like I cannot, and I don't want to do it. And she's like, well, like I was, it was really hard for me to be able to put like our names down for this. And I was like, okay, well, can I like pay you so that, you know, you're not in any kind of financial crisis. Right, okay, that's nice, you know? yeah, that's pretty nice. And she's like, no, it's not about the money, it's about the fact that you won't come, and you promise. And I'm like, well, I, 
don't want to go anymore because I'm really tired. Yeah. And I, yes. I took off my lashes already, so I'm not going to That's how you know done. Yes, so uh, uh, it's uh, not going to happen. Lash off. Pants off. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. No, yeah. yeah. So I was just like, I'm sorry, I'm not going to go. She's like, please, can you please come? And I told her, no, I am not going to go because I don't want to have to get ready to go somewhere to a place that I don't want to go and not have a good time and just be like whining and then end up leaving early just to do the thing that I wanted to do, which was just sit at the hotel room right. and relax. And she throws a huge fit. Oh. A huge fit. Like, you know, like this hotel room was really, really expensive. And I just can't believe that you guys would just make a promise and then just immediately break it. Wait, did she party with you guys earlier? Yes. Oh. Yes. But she was sober. So what was the reason? Right? Oh, she was sober? So that's why she wasn't tired and hung over. Oh. So that's why she's, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So and what? like... Tired and I told her, well, okay, so let me pay you for my head so that, you know, you're not, yeah, you're not, yeah, you know, that's that's nice, that's like, nice, yeah. but I want you to come. Well, I'm not going to go. Oh, I'm so nobody will. Her. I didn't go. I was the only one who didn't go. And then after she left, other girls went because they felt bad. Oh, okay. so, and I'm sorry. I don't, I've, I've been dealt the, you know, being guilted before many times by my own mother. I don't need it anymore for my friends. And I've go. seen that whole routine and I just don't need it. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. He doesn't party earlier. This should be totally understandable. If he's like shopping, maybe different. What if he has got all drugs, party, and all that? This is, you know, yeah. sex, drugs, rock and roll. Man. Yeah. This is Mine's the rock and roll. No rock and roll. Yeah. So that was. Yeah. Yeah. So that was just one of the many stories that I can tell you. Ah, that's it was story. just like. It was ridiculous. But one of the other highlights that happened on this trip besides EDC was that I turned 24 on May 16th. This it. is my Kobe year. Last year was my Jordan year where I, I, I totally forgot what it was. What? Like it was basically last year was me working on myself a whole lot right. and just continuously. And this year i feel like it's kind of like all the good things that the karma that i have been trying to do for me to be able to be better for myself last year is now i'm starting to see it and it's such a weird feeling but it's really great and i'm super super happy about it mm, well yeah. vegas had something to do with that yeah, yeah i'm yeah. sure that's very sobering great experience. stories in vegas and he like, like, like he does a like what's story. the weirdest thing that happened you saw that amongst all of the the yeah, 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 yeah what did you see go down like with my, me and my girlfriend? Or just in general. Maybe what, what, you, what you saw ge with general, uh, with the public. <laughs> Nothing with your girlfriend. Mm, I don't know, man. That's Vegas for you, though. Like anything can happen to Vegas. <laughs> right. It happens to Vegas, stays right. in Vegas. Right, there's big orgies right in the middle of the dance floor. Okay, like, everybody oh. throwing any kind of stuff. Okay, yeah. so the weirdest Wait. thing that I saw at EDC. Okay. I. <laughs> this probably isn't going to sound like weird to you guys, but you know that 90s tribal tattoo oh, yeah, thing yeah. that a lot of guys were yeah. like had like yeah. especially military guys of course there was this one guy this one white dude that was dude. just like covered covered wow. and that tribal? In the tribal from neck to ankles to wrist like tr tr covered in like the tribal 90s black black ink oh, tattoo gosh. And I was just, I kept on staring at him. And I just could not like, take my eyes off him. He was not cute, mind you. And his body was not, like, you know, attractive to me, at least. But he was just, like, I was just thinking in my mind, like, dude, why would you do that? Like, that is just <laughs> not a good look for complete you. Complete the cipher. It's like, mm-mm. Wow. Mm -mm. This isn't, you know, what is it called? Prison break? Oh, no, gosh. this was not like that. Wow. It was. This was a young guy. Yes, he no, was young. He's yes. young. Yes, no. He was our age and make total sense. No, 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 no. He was, he was like 20s. 27 years old. Well, what are you doing, my brother? Yeah. When the meds kick in, hey. that's what happens. Yes. Kept going, right? Yeah, yeah keep going, bro. Prescriptions on top of prescription. Wow. Oh. No. Really good. You took a picture with him, though. I, uh, I tried to record it, but then my phone broke during EDC. Oh. So you see? I had to. So you say it broke. No, actually, no. It, it did. Like, there was just something wrong. Like, I wasn't catching it, like, my network wow. or anything. Yes, she, she, you did purchase a new phone. I would love to see what this dude looks like with a full body tribal. He's probably he's got tribal. an IG. We can look him up. Can look him up. Tribal guy. guy. Tribal Holly. <laughs> tribal Holly tribe. A tribe called Holly. A tribe called Holly. I would not listen or watch that. There you oh, go. Oh, gosh. Well, the, the bottom line is this. Don't ever go with these girlfriends again to anywhere. Nope. Okay, don't go on a trip with these girls anymore. Yeah, people travel yeah. with them. Forget yeah. it. Yeah. Never room with anybody too. That always ends bad. Yes. Always get your own hotel room. Yes. Yes. I totally agree with that. And now I've, I've learned. I've learned my Either lesson. Either that, you stay out as long as you can. That's what I would do. Mm -hmm. 
and just come home just to sleep, and wake up as early as you can, yep. and get out. That would yep. be the only other and option. Get out. Get out. Oof. That's what I, any, any trip, anybody that ever goes on a trip with me, there's no such thing as, I mean, mm -hmm. you sleep for a couple hours, but besides that, we're up. Mm -hmm. 5 a.m., bro. That's it. Gone. I'm never coming back to 3 a.m. Oh, three in the morning. Three in the morning, Ra. Yeah. What you do? I wish you time. Six in the morning. Please send my dog. <laughs> so it's iced tea. So I would just travel by myself. The the, the heck with everyone. Honestly, no. I really like traveling by myself now. Yeah, I've learned. To I've done it. it. It's it's great. It's, Very empowered. Yeah. You know? uh, so there you go. What else we got? Here? What else has happened? That was in May. Um, I adopted a dog. Hey. Yes, there you go. Yes. Yes. There you go. Yes. Class. Shout, Shout out to the dogs. Shout out to the dogs. Shout out to the dogs. I'll tell you. Um, <sighs> her name is Sally. Hey. She is a, um, I want to say she's a terrier. What? Was it pure? I don't Sally. think so. Sally. Sally. Looks like a terrier mix. Yes. Yeah. I know she's like a terrier mix. Oh? I think she's like about like eight, nine hey, years old. Oh. She's a senior dog. Okay. I love her. But uh, how I was able to adopt her was um, Sally. one of my good friends. The house next door to him was being foreclosed on, okay. and apparently, I guess the family had just up and left. Yeah, and the dog. Oh, they didn't want the dog. They didn't want the dog. Wow. So, so right? like, I don't know if like, what is it like, the auditor or like the bank or like the insurance people? They go to the house to go check it out because yeah, the it's, dog. it's yeah, and they see a dog, and they what? go over to my friend's house, who is a neighbor of Sally. It's like, hey, do you want this dog? Because if not, you know, we're just gonna let her go and we're just gonna like put her into the pound and so he's like I, I can't hold on to her and, da, 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 da. and so he was looking for people looking for people and then he finally asked me and I was like I, I don't know if I can have a dog and then he showed me a picture of her and I was like yeah I'm sold oh wow yeah mm -hmm. so it was it was super go. sad you know was like, that, that's her name though her her original name was Princess. She wasn't treated like one. Oh uh, yeah, right. of course not. Who needs a princess? Yeah, so what, what got you to go Sally? Yeah. Uh, Are you a fan of Gucci Two Crew? No, I am not. Sally. So. Ooh. <laughs> I'm, nobody's getting my references. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Sorry. Some people get yes. Yeah, so the song name. I don't Sally. know. She just Sorry. she just yeah. looked like a Sally to me. You know, like. No, it's very, a cute name. It's a name that. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you know Sally yeah. Field. So, you know, Sally <laughs> Flying Nun. References and, are going everywhere. And because of that, too. because of her like being like abandoned and stuff, she has like really bad separation anxiety. Aww. Oh yeah, that, that's that's dogs. Yeah. Yes. So she knew she was abandoned. Yeah. 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 That yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Right. So, so there you go. I, I good for that family. Let like, me let me show you guys. Oh, yeah, we're all, I was so yeah. I was so heartbroken. Like how can you yeah, do that? You can't do that to a dog. Oh, so this sad. is her. She looks sad. <laughs> how about it? Look at that. Look at that picture. Send, send Zach that picture, post him up. Oh. Go find me for Sally. There you go. Oh no, no Nico. Buy no new dog shoes or something. And this is her now. Hey, see? look how happy she looks. Right? See? Look at that. I don't think it's either. Is that new Sally? leash? Is that new yeah. like uh, hardware yes, on her neck? Yes, it's a new leash. Like that. We'll post that picture uh, up. Hey, oh, yes. Sally. Yes, and she's really good at taking dirty photos. <laughs> she is see. really good. So no. there you go. There's, there's the millennial photo right there. See, with look, the, millennial that's does how good. should be done. Boomerang, Snapchat, all. The millennials yeah. love so the good. Oh, see, oh yeah, by the way, there is a really new cool like photo filter app coming on right now called Huji, H-U-G-I, that everyone is using right now. So if you guys wanted to update your Instagram oh. profiles a little bit and wanted to use oh, a filter. Oh, separate yes. app itself. Okay. Yes. Huji. Yeah. All right. How are you at the uh, Instagram filtering? Okay. Uh, I, don't, I just do it with the kids, you know, for fun. Okay, as you should. I don't post anything. Right, because you know why? Because you're a man. No butterflies. Exactly. No, for me. no butterflies. No, no eyes. The thing in the, the ears, yeah. whatever. None of that stuff. No. We should put that in the Mount Rushmore not being a man. Oh, bro. Filters. No guy should do filters. I'm going to no. go right back into my voice no. again. No gym selfies. No filters. No, you hear that, man? No guys. And it's coming that. from a guy that works for him in the gyms. If I no see any more gym vodka. selfie, no drinking vodka, we're making it a five, Rushmore. Eight. Sorry, that's all. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, we should go to break. Sorry. Eat no, but that's it. That's all. Everything yes, that's has been going on with me. There you go. Michaela's oh, back. There you go. Huh? Michaela's back. Michaela's back. How's the car? <laughs> What's the car driving up? Oh. oh. So, well, Sharon is fixed. Sharon's fixed. There you go. That's oh, the car. And I Sharon will... is Karen. And if any of you guys want to come down to support me, I oh. will be at Spocom. Hey, shout out to Spocom. Yes. 
Where is this going to be and when? This is going to be at the Blaisdell. Oh, you're putting her in the, in the show? Yes, I will. What kind of car is it? Acura RSX. There you go, Acura for the win. And the thing is about this Acura now is that she's the only one in the state with this kind of body kit. Word, that I like that. Only was, that only is for people who are super, super enthusiastic. Wow, you need a sticker on that car. Yeah, I was actually good at... We'll put the sleep time over sticker on that but car. Let's get it's it on. on. I want to believe it's on August 25th or 26th. Right. Um, we'll come up with the details later, but Very it's good. Um, at the Blaisdell. Um, I really hope to see you guys there, and I will be repping the uh, light sleepers and sleep tent over. Right. Let me know what size to be. Taking a picture. Yeah. Get, it done. Get it done. I'm That's super right. excited, but please have a wonderful rest of your week. Hey. Hey. Yes, there you go. Thank you, Michaela, for being on. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, see you back on, you know, alive. Oh. oh, everybody's missing everyone. Wait, 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 did you did, did you win money or lose money in Vegas? I lost money, and then I won money, and then I lost money, and then I lost money. Oh. Okay. And then, and then I broke even. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. nothing wrong with breaking even. That's right. Even all you gotta do is just put hundred on black. That's all you do. Always bet on black. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to get that out. Okay, it's over. <laughs> what is it? Sleep time's over. Bye. Season eight, episode eight. The millennial strikes back. The millennial falcon. A.K. A.K. Coco. She doesn't watch Star Wars. I don't think Falcons go Coco, right? Right? <laughs> what do Falcons do? <laughs> Falcons do Falcons win? Do Falcons win? I, I gladly turned that off. So yeah. <coughs> McCoy from Wings T. Redskins. All right. Buccaneers. Bills. The Buccaneers. Hey, T. Do Falcons make noise? Sorry? You're a May baby too? Yes, I am. Wait, 24. Oh, you're Gemini. We're all May babies, bro. Yeah, today's the birthday. Thank you. Yeah. What does a falcon sound like? Yeah. Kevin, what's your name? Oh, wait. It's July now. July. Oh, yeah, it is. It's July. Coming up next. July 23rd. Yeah. 23rd? Yeah. Like two weeks. What do you count? 10 days? Uh, like at the borderline. More Leo. More Leo. Like a, it's kind of weird. Sometimes it's like majority of the time it's Leo. Yeah. 